which means we are doing something. Don't let them get away by so otherwise. Brian Yan addresses the audience and judges in his first round heat. He's been drawn to speak against the motion that the wealthy have a moral obligation to give to the needy. His team, Singapore, are defending champions. So his school has given him a good deal of coaching to give the 2016 team the best chance. Of course, it was a very well fought debate. So it's a bit nerve wracking after the debate um, ended to think about what the decision could possibly be. Um, I think it's a, it's a good thing moving forward um, that um, we had a solid start. Contrast the well-resourced Singaporean team with their Palestinian counterparts, whose journey from their native Bethlehem took 48 hours and involved transiting three countries. 14-year-old Tamar van Tefelen is the youngest participant in these debates. He's proud to be able to take part and represent Palestine. It feels accomplishing. It feels, it feels good. It feels like I did something in my life worth doing. And it, it, it just generates the feeling of, like, I did this and I got to this level. The competition is bringing together young people from across the world, something the organizer, Jana Gilke, says is the ultimate goal. I think it's a wonderful activity because it connects people and it makes, it, it makes you gain speaking skills and also logical thinking skills. The debate in the second round match between the Chilean team and the Palestinian team has just finished. Now we await the judges' verdict to find the winner and to see which team might go that bit further in this competition. awarded this wing to Proposition Team Chile. This was just one of the many contests taking place over the course of the next week with all the teams hoping they'll be back next Thursday for the grand final. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Stuttgart.